If we're gonna really tell the truth about Soft Robotics, it's the most exciting project I've worked on in my career. What's different about Soft Robotics is the actual fingers, the grippers that go on the end of the arm that are now able to manage and handle like strawberries and other delicate fruits or vegetables without damage. It actually looks like if you detached a, an arm off of a robot and put octopus fingers on the end of it, and that's really what it looks like. The research team at Harvard was, was highly motivated by the octopus and said, could we make a robot that would do something like an octopus? Right now, you know, we're using air as a way to, to cause our fingers to open and close around things. So it's, it looks a little bit like an octopus, but it operates very differently. Uh, my mind has kind of exploded with you know, the possibilities of where it could be used in our plant. Our big challenge in prepared foods has always been, we try to buy automation, but the, the life cycle of any particular product is so short that typically the automation isn't capable of paying it for itself when the product, you know, ends up being replaced with something else. So the soft robotics application is so versatile that it can be programmed to do one thing. When that product goes away, it can be reprogrammed to do another, and that's the exciting part. We believe in a future of flexible automation and adaptable automation that doesn't care exactly what the product is or what the packaging is, that we can still handle it, still manipulate it, still pack it. It's a watershed moment in terms of converting lower paying jobs into higher paying jobs, being more accurate and precise, eliminating the ergonomic risks that we have in the plant today with repetitive motion. What we envision is one employee being able to actually supervise four or five robotic arms and keep them you know, dialed in and doing the tasks that they need, need to do. Well, I think we've always been early adopters of new technology in our industry and this is just another example of that. Taylor provides an incredibly unique opportunity for us and, and they can provide test beds where we can practice our technology with their products in production environments, learn from it, iterate, and get to, to ultimately to solutions. The first big hurdle has been to get the robotic arms that are washed down capable. So the first ones were not capable of being washed down. We have a very wet environment. How do we make our product sanitation ready? How do we make something that the FDA will approve? That's all materials that are um, approved that the design makes sense, is intuitive, is easy to wash, easy to clean, easy to replace and repair. So that's been something that I think is unique to this environment, but something that we've taken kind of head on because we know how important it is. Everything needs to be able to plug and play and integrate really quickly. I think we're going to be a big part of that moving forward, and I'm excited to see where the partnership leads. Working with the Taylor team is, is fantastic. The start will be definitely this year. I mean, we're already pretty deep into the test arms, and that's, that's in process right now. But I see it being a four to five year process to get all the applications in place. It truly is the most exciting project I've worked on.